It's game bad. No. Okay. Can I see you? Let me see you. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to make this comfortable. Chai wants to sit. Did you see his little tie? Look how cute his little tie is. He's not gonna show it to you. It's game bad. He's got a cute little tie. Okay. It's Saturday, April 6th. I'm posting this video on Saturday, April 6th. I'm trying to keep with my posting one video a day. I missed a day, but I'm gonna try to make it up by doing two tomorrow. We'll see. There might be two older videos. I might have to just post two videos that are sitting in my, sitting in my drafts or whatever it's called, sitting in my editing booth thing to finish editing. So they might be a little bit older, but relevant, hopefully still topics. So that if they are older, you know, just whatever. But I'm trying to do one day. I've done four today. I mean, I've done four this week so far. Uh, this will be number five. So I'll try to do six and seven tomorrow. Okay, you guys. Saturday, April 6th. I'm posting this on Saturday, April 6th. <laughs> Goyard. Goyard gang. Where my Goyard gang at? We're going to do a quick chat about the new Goyard bags. 2024 Goyard bags. Journey to the sea. After their journey to the forest. After their journey to India. So, yeah. Real quick. Goyard. New limited edition bags. Discussion. Goyard gang gabbing. Goyard gang gabbing. Of Goyard bags grabbing. Of which none of I have. None of which I have grabbed. So, Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm a fashion freak, a goya geek, a luxury lover, a shopaholic, a shopaholic, shopaholic. And today we're going to be doing a quick video about the new Goyard bags that are coming out today, plus the ones that came out at the beginning of the year. So the Goyard limited edition coral pink and turquoise bags that are there doing for this year, the two new colors for this year in their journey to the sea. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick around. Please smash the like button. Please consider subscribing. Keep on watching. Keep on watching. Keep on watching. Please consider subscribing and keep on watching. Okay, so <clears throat> real quick. The reason, first of all, many of you might be wondering, I know, why I haven't posted about this earlier. And I, when the turquoise one came out at the beginning of the year, and well, first, I didn't want to post about it right away when it came out because I felt like, I feel like I, I don't want to like to stomp on Goyard's, you know, ju mojo or juju or whatever. Like when they do these launches, they're supposed to be, you know how Goyard is, it's very secretive, elusive, they like being mysterious. They like it being, they don't like everything being shattered from rooftops. They're not a very loud, flashy brand. Even though they are, you know, doing more and more, more and more of these limited edition bags every year that are kind of going with, away from their norm of being classic timeless bags and doing different colors. I guess maybe A, to spice it up and B, to make these limited edition things harder to get because the bag is so common now and because everyone has it. Even though they don't promote it, people have it. Everyone has the bag, right? It's a little weird dilemma. Anyway, conversation for another time on this whole Goyard coming up with more colors. Yeah, I didn't want to step on their Mojo Jojo. I didn't want to step on their Mojo Jojo, basically. The turquoise one came past and I didn't have time to talk about it. So I didn't. Bye, Chai. <laughs> the turquoise one came past. I didn't want to have time to talk about it. And this coral one just came out last week, I think, for the VIP client, VIC clients. And today it's dropping in the stores. They released an email about it a couple of days ago, but they posted about it on Instagram yesterday. So I feel like now... Now that it's out in the world, it's okay to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it before it was out in the world, even though I'm sure a lot of people got the email too. I no longer get the earlier notification, the VIC notification of when it's, something's coming out before it's coming out. So I can't even get the bag if it comes out. I can't go to the pre-launch. I can only get it at the regular launch. And I didn't go to get it. I'm not, I didn't get the turquoise one and I didn't get the, the coral one, but they are both really pretty. We can talk about them in a sec, but I might try, I'm going to France in a couple of weeks. So I might try to get the turquoise, the coral one if it's still there in France. Okay, so yes. So let's talk about it real quick. So Goyard released two bags. No, sorry, Goyard released two colors. So every year they do a, for the past couple of years, they've been doing like a special year edition, like 2020. One, they did all the metallic colors. I don't know what the theme was of that year, but 2022 was a voyage to India and they did the elephant bag, excuse me, the elephant Anjou. They did all these, you know, bright colored white and um, bright colored clairvoise. Oh, and then they did the jet black and powder pink at the end of the year, which I don't know if it was an India theme thing. It was just a thing that they did. 2023, they did the forests of Morvan, Mor which they're like coming from their roots of log making and forests and that Morvan family or whatever, like, you know, that stuff. So they did the khaki color, the grudge color, and they did a bunch of limited edition bags in those colors, did put those bags in bags they normally use. And then this year they're doing Voyage to the Sea as they continue their journey Voyage to the Sea. So the first bags they released were the turquoise colored ones, which they've done turquoise before, it's a really beautiful turquoise. It's very, very nice. I have not actually seen any in person, not the old ones and not the new ones, 
but I have pictures, it looks beautiful. So they did the St. Louis GM and PM, but I think it was just the GM with a like limited edition marquage on it. And it came with a beach bag, beach towel, like very classic sea beach, also with the glare bag, what the St. Louis is made for, right? And then they did the Bulhara bag, which they've done before, but they usually do it all canvas, all uh, like that linen interior color with a little bit of Guaradine stripes and then a city name, but they did it all in the color turquoise with a strap, uh, no marquage. And they did the Anjou, reversible Anjou in turquoise with the seahorses, which is really pretty too. Turquoise Anjou is really, really, really pretty. It looks really pretty. So those are the turquoise colors that they did at the beginning of the year. And they sold out very quickly. I think they were very, very popular. But like I have seen them now on resale websites. They're going for like six, seven thousand dollars, five to six to seven thousand dollars. I think the the Anjou goes for six or seven, or the Saint Louis goes for six or seven, and the Belhar goes for five or six. It's it's really I don't know what the exact prices are, but I know they're not that high. I would assume that they're like four for the Anjou and like maybe three something for the or the Saint Louis with the towel and like Belhar. Oh my god, Belhara around 3-2. So they did the turquoise ones. They look really pretty, but they're very reversed. Okay, and then, so they just, so I got the email last week, I think. Oh no, it was earlier this week of the coral pinks. They're doing a coral pink, which is really exciting because they've done pink in the past. Obviously they did the powder pink two, two years ago. And then before that they did a different pink, which was like a bright pink with like darker pink accents, which I don't know when they did that, but it was a long time ago, pre my time or pre my knowing about it anyway. Uh, so if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below when that was launched, but I think I want to say it was like 2018, 2017, 2016, or even earlier, but this is their third iteration of pink. It's a different pink. It's called coral and it's a really pretty pink. And I think this is going to do very well too. If it's not already done, I'm, it's supposed to launch today in stores, but I'm assuming it already sold out in the pre-sales and then they'll do another batch this round. And I'm assuming, I think the, I think the, the Anjou is around four, the, um, the Belhara, they're doing the Anjou, the Belhara, and then the Allegra, which they did last year, the Allegra and the Grez, which was, I think, really popular. And they've done the Allegra and the Turquoise in previous years, a long time ago. And I think I saw it once in the Orange, too, like on the resale sites. But they're doing it in the Coral Pink. It looks really pretty. I assume it's, like, Allegra's a smaller, like, little bag. I would assume it's under three, like, probably maybe three max. And then the Anjou probably somewhere between three and four. And the Belhara is like, I would say around three, two are my assumptions. Uh, I will find out the prices if I can. If you know the prices, let me know in the comments below. Again, the, this bag is probably gonna be very popular. It's gonna sell for very, very high on the secondhand market if you can't go out and get in the store. So if you can go get in the store, go get in the store. If anyone's got it, let me know in the comments below because I think this is a really, really cool bag. I already have two pink bags from Boyard. I have the Anjou Mini and I have the Saigon Souple. So I don't need another pink bag from Boyard. And I also don't even wear either of those at all like they are more just like collections sitting there and i'll probably give them to my daughter or whatever you know because i it's just too pain for me like no masculine feminine whatever but like it is cute and i like it and i wear i can wear it when i wear an all pink outfit and i'll wear it every now and then it's not something i'm gonna wear a lot i don't need any more pink bags i don't think that being said if something pink if i've offered a pink kelly I'd probably take it a pink birkin i'd probably take it so <laughs> teach them <you> but <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna get these but i do want to go look at them i'm gonna try i'm gonna go try and see them in france when i go and maybe i will get I don't know, you know, impulsive shopaholic. Maybe I'll buy it in the moment, but right now I don't think I will, but I think they're really cool bags. Has anyone got them? Let me know in the comments below if you got them, but they look really cool. I really, really actually like the seahorse one because the pink on it and the pink and the like darker red or burgundy, whatever, it looks really, really cool. And um, the Belhara looks really cool too, actually, with the strap. It's like a cool little bucket bag. I wish they, I wish one time they would do a limited edition Artois. Like a limited edition Artois, I would get that in a second because I do love the Artois bag and I think it's it's underrated and underappreciated. And they should really do a limited edition and one for that because I would grab that in a heartbeat because I do love I do love the zip on that and I do love the structure on that one. Any size, PM, MM. I mean, I have all three, but I think PM would be a good size for a limited edition one with a little marquage and a cool color. Maybe like a like a cool like crimson red i don't know or like a jet black i would do jet black but eh, no maybe like a cool like a cool red or like a purple although i don't think i'd wear a purple as well i think it got to be like a little bit more of a subtle color i would do a grege one oh my god i have to do a grege or khaki i would do that in a second anyway 
I digress. So this is the new one. I'm just telling you guys about it now. I'm sure you guys already know. This might be old news because it's been out for a little bit, but if you don't know, they're launching these two bags. I mean, they're launching these three bags in the coral and they already did the turquoise. I'm sure you know about that but I was just giving you a little video update and I'm sure some of you are wondering why I have not talked about these limited edition bags and I just kind of don't want to, I don't want to step on their toes. I don't want to be more in the doghouse than I need to be. So I'm talking about it now that it's already out and I think they're very pretty. I love them. I think they're great. Good on you. Great colors. Great job. Can't wait to see them in person. Do my regular France trip and just be there in the summer because I love the summer. I wanted to go in June but for my birthday, but the Olympics and everything, blah, 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 too much. So we're going now. It's going to be really exciting, and I'll try to post in real time from there to keep up with my daily posts. I'm going to try really, really hard to post a video there. There might be short videos. There might be quick, hey, I'm in Paris. I'm in Paris. Woohoo. And like a little bit of background thing, but I will try to post one video a day from Paris. Also, please go guys, check out my TikTok, guys. Please. I'm trying to post literally a lot more there and trying to be a little more consistent here and there. So please go check out the TikTok, follow me there and comment and like and share those videos. I really appreciate the support. I have my first hater troller who's been posting literally all these mean things on every one of my videos, but I'm just going with it and I'm not letting it affect me. I'm just, I'm literally replying thank you to everything she, he posts. And it's kind of weird, but I guess that's a good thing, right? You can't, a hater means that you're making, right? Like they mean all good, all press is good press. All the good news is good news or whatever it is. Someone's hating on you, that means you must be doing something right, right? You have a hater, I think. I don't know, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I'm gonna edit this and try to post it today. It's five, it's almost six o'clock. I'm gonna try to get it out by seven to you guys at a reasonable time. And then I'm gonna try to put two tomorrow morning and evening, we'll see. Okay, thank you guys. I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for all the support. And I will give you guys an update. Also, I have a few other updates too, so I'll give you the next one. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please, please, please consider subscribing. Please smash the like button. Please share with your friends and family. If you hate to share with your enemies and exes, if you know your time is valuable and your dogs, I know your time is valuable, I know your time is precious. No, if you loved it, share with your dog. If you hate it, don't share with your dog. I know your time is valuable, I know your time is precious, so I appreciate you spending your time here with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.